Hi, I'm Brother Bennett, and I'm going to point out a couple key principles to rupling that you might not be remembering due to high stress from PVP, anxiety from not knowing what to take, and the best way to selling on the flea. First step to this magical thing some of the big streamers you may watch do when it comes to Tarkov big bucks is knowing what you're going into raid for. Now if I don't already have your attention then move your eyes to the top right of the screen and notice I'm sitting at 5 million ruple in just 4 hours and 45 minutes of gameplay. I grow my worth to 16 million ruple. Alright, high stress from PvP. Let's break this down. Remembering this when you are in the heat of the moment, normally when you're looting, you are avoiding PvP. As we all know sometimes, it's unavoidable. If and when you win that fight, while your objective in this raid is to make money, you have to remember you are here for loot. One pillar to PMC loot is it will not equal as much as your slots filled with bartable items. Key note from this focus on three things while you're staring at your juicy kill after your fight number one prod your gear for his learn how to do that quick and remember control clicking bartable items will instantly fill the pmc's bag first then the mags and ammunition and grenades will fill the rig once you ditch your gear for his retain his weapon on your sling and his ammo if he has another kit on him from someone he may have killed, then of course take that caliber you like best and whatever ammo he has and only utilize gear if it is a rig that can be placed in your bag for extra slots. Trust me, leaving a meta HK or M4 is fine. Don't get overwhelmed. It will not equal as much as all your slots with barbable items in the end. There is a time for taking PMC loot and it's just not when you're Rupal hunting. Let's break down the second obstacle, which is anxiety from not knowing the right items to take out a raid. You don't have to know the flea price to every item, just know relatively all items are going to be 6k to 8k more than they are sold straight to trader. I would avoid H matches, crinkets, and zippos. Literally everything else is good to grab and profitable no matter night or day when it's time to sell on the flea. So if you see an item, just take it. The only way to learn is by getting out of raid with the items to sell on the flea to learn the prices. Then you can min-max in your future raids and from the knowledge of 5k differences in items prices, it'll help you out with some ripple in the end. Alright, so this is probably the biggest mistake most people make due to impatience. Selling your items. After raid, unloading and restocking stems, PKs is essential to timing. Along with dumping your loot, the main objective is to do the most painful, boring thing in the game the fastest you can do it, which is looting. Don't sort your items after each raid, trust me. Unloading them in a scav junk box, I recommend 3-5 to five junk boxes after each raid. All barter items can just be dragged to the box and you're back into raid getting more items. When your cases are filled, then you sort the items and grab 3 different items at the time, shift click and shift click them to the sorting table then exit sorting table to interact with them by posting them on the flea for example i would shift click cpu fans power cords and bronze metal parts and they're all going to get posted to the flea in bulk at one time until everything gets sold and you're grabbing the next item this part is the part where patience makes you the most money i usually Usually you can undercut whatever the cheapest flea price is for that item and make it sell faster by losing out on a couple thousand rupal which doesn't hurt. This information isn't a lot, I try my best to make it as easy to understand as possible without information overload. Rinsing and repeating these steps will keep you cash flow though. There are many more pro tips out there towards how to like retain rupal but this is probably one of the most effective ways I've learned how to grasp on my own. So to leave you with a tip also, the rig and the weapon you obtain from your PMC kill should be sold as USD to Peacekeeper. That is, if you retained his gear like we talked about earlier, uh, you should only hoard that gear when your objective is PvP and not looting. That's like for a whole nother video. Make sure you're looting everything, learn how to be faster at file cabinets, and take the time to hit jackets. I hope this helps stop thinking so much and get out there and see how much cash you can turn in just 4 hours of playing. Now, the final product of me is 
16 million cash balance at the end of my rupaling this is why only fools would choose bear because in this world you either drip or drown bear man